Judy and Rob sources telling me this afternoon that Fred Waller, a 30 year veteran of the Chicago Police Department who retired in 2020, will be introduced tomorrow as the interim police superintendent. He fits the bill for the kind of leader Brandon Johnson wants now and on a permanent basis. So that is top priority to keep guns um, off the streets of Chicago. Mayor-elect Brandon Johnson talking to kids at a private school on the west side. Tomorrow, he is expected to address another public safety priority, naming an interim police superintendent to replace Eric Carter, who will be retiring from the department May 15th, the day Johnson becomes mayor. Sources confirm the choice is Fred Waller, who talked to me about mentoring young officers back in 2020 as he was about to retire from CPD after 34 years on the job. I always tell these, these young officers, and I try to encourage them, that you can do good police work uh, in this environment. You can still uh, remain professional in this environment, even though you're being disrespected on a daily basis. Waller retired as chief of operations, the fourth highest ranking member of the department. Last month, I asked Johnson what he was looking for in a superintendent. We're looking for someone who is compassionate, someone who's collaborative, someone who's competent, someone who has the trust in the voices of the rank and file members, someone who obviously understands the value and the importance of constitutional policing. I state your name. This morning, police accountability taking an historic step forward with the new police district council members being sworn in to their positions. Among them, Teresa Chandler, who lives in the West Englewood community. I've seen a lot of uh, police not being accountable for their actions and things of that nature. But I'm hoping to bring um, a collaboration between the community and the police. I think it's feasible. Waller also previously talking about the importance of accountability. I would never say that uh, the police department is perfect. When you have an agency of, of over 12,000, 13,000, there are going to be uh, some people who uh, have a different mindset, uh, who have to sometimes be reeled in through discipline. Now, what is not clear about Waller is whether he's interested in the superintendent's job on a full-time basis or only as the interim. The commission that will recommend three finalists to Brandon Johnson to fill that vacancy has until mid-July to finish their work. Judy? Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.